So we've got a professor demonstrating centripetal force. So they can either stretch their arm, let's say straight up. I drew their head, they're, they're gonna move their head out of the way. They're gonna be like, whoa, don't wanna hit my head with this bucket. So they're going straight up or straight down. Anyway, this bucket's moving in like a vertical circle situation. Um, so at the top of this circle, we don't want the water to fall out. Normally I would draw a normal force because there's like some surface situation between the water and the bucket, but we want to know the minimum speed. So this is like on the roller coaster. This is when you're fully like weightless. Um, but remember weightless, is not really an awesome term. Weightless doesn't make sense because like you still have weight, you still have mass, you're on planet Earth, your weight doesn't change. Really, it's normal forcelessness. Normal forceless. Okay, so we're going to do the sum of the forces equals mac. Normally we would do mg plus normal equals mac, but we are doing the minimum speed. So that means don't worry about the normal. We're going to do what if normal force was zero? What is the speed where that be is okay? So we're going to do mg equals mac. Our m's cancel out. g, we'll plug stuff in in a second. So we have v squared over r. g times r equals v squared. The square root of gr equals v. And g is 10 and the radius is 1. So the square root of 10 ends up being 